You're watching Chef Club. We bread from flour first so that your egg wash sticks. Egg, get it all the way in there. Some cheddar with the cup that you're gonna use. Make two rounds on the cheddar. That way you have the right size. The knife, you take that round off just like that. And we're gonna repeat that process. Make yourself four perfect cheddar rounds. Plastic film, double it up. Place it on top of the cup. Try to center that right. Take your cup out, take your round. Place it on the bottom. You should have that whole piece of cheddar. Turn it just a bit, twist it a bit, fold it, and push that down with the knife. The second piece, put it right there. Try and overlap them a little bit so that they will end up sticking together well. You get yourself a third piece, slide it on in there. Try and make sure it touches the bottom. And take just a little bit of water and brush the edges to help sticking together. We're gonna be putting these in the freezer. And uh, when they are hard enough, we take them back out and then we bread it. Got some olive oil in there, just about a teaspoon. Start with our onions. Give them a little stir, a little garlic, red bell peppers. And we're gonna let those cook for about five minutes. Once we have our onions and our bell peppers to the point that we want them, we add a tiny bit of paprika, ground cumin, and some good old chili powder. Give it a good mix. Once you have a nice color on there, set it to the side just a little bit. Bring a pan. Turn that bad boy up, up, up. We're gonna brown some meat, olive oil, and with the ground beef. Okay, so you wanna hear that sizzle. Hit it with a little salt, black pepper. Once we have browned our meat to our liking, we will add it to our previous mixture. Don't leave any in there, put that away. Bring this back to the heat. Add some water, beef stock, tomato puree, a little bit of sugar, and some peeled diced tomato. Give it all a good stir. Once it comes to a boil, we let that simmer on low for about 20 minutes, cover it, and we can go check on our cups. So we are back with these cheddar cups. 
even your edges out. And we will take this cheese, set it to the side. This has to happen pretty quick as they will start to soften up, as you can see. And we bread from flour first so that your egg wash sticks. Egg, get it all the way in there. Shake it up a little, dump it out. And some panko for that extra crisp. Now we are gonna repeat this operation two times so that we have an even enough and thick enough layer of breading so that when we fry it, it doesn't melt. Don't be afraid to add a little water every once in a while if it's getting a little dry on you. We add our kidney beans and the rest of that cheese that we put aside earlier. Give it a little mix and continue to simmer. Now, this is about what it should look like after two times of breading, but uh, don't worry if it takes you three times. We fry at about 180. So what we're looking for here is uh, this nice golden color. It is important to remember that we let this aside 15 to 20 minutes before serving so that the uh, flavors can mingle a little. So now we're going to try this chili and I'll tell you how good it is. Mm -hmm. It's on point. <laughs> 